We have with us today Mr. Masood Amrala Al Ali, who's the artistic director for the Dubai International Film F Festival. It's a pleasure to have you with us, sir. And uh, my first question for you is: How has the Dubai International Film Festival helped in boosting the success of young Emirati filmmakers? I think we came a long way. Uh, we started in 2004 with screening films from the Emirates, a uh, few films from the Emirates. Then we created a section for the Emiratis called Emerging Emiratis. Uh, before four years, we created a section called Muhar Emirati, which means that we, from normal screening to a dedicated section, to a competition. I think this development happened through the years where uh, the Emirati films has been doing really good, developed very well. Uh, this year we have 11 films in the competition, in the Muhar Emirati competition. Out of them, four are uh, feature films, which is uh, a record for the UAE to have uh, four films in the competition. And also we have another film in Arabian Night section, which make them five feature films in the, in the, in the festival, which is uh, really something never happened before. So I think the, the growth is, is happening. We are uh, seeing this growing year after year. And uh, uh, at the end, they are proving to be in the, in the festival. Also, sir, how does the Dubai International Film Festival, how does it help to bridge cultures and nationalities within the UAE, this film festival? I think cinema in, in general is, is some uh, a beautiful tool to exchange uh, images and to create a better dialogue. Uh, a society, a conservative uh, society like the UAE uh, is, is, is in the need of a cinema. Uh, when we present an Emirati film, that means you are entering my house and seeing how I live and looking at how I treat my father, my mother, which is in normal life we don't do it. Uh, there is like somehow separate between the locals and expats, but the cinema brings them all together so you can learn better what is happening. Uh, the many films from different nationalities, 40 languages, uh, 60 countries we are bringing. Dubai is also a multi-nationality uh, city, where a cosmopolitan city where you can see every nas uh, nationality is living in the UAE. So also for them to see films from their own countries and to celebrate them and to, to also, uh, once they see a film, they go to a restaurant or wherever to start a discussion and to start a dialogue. That means also a better understanding. So cinema is a beautiful uh, medium where where you can understand the other by 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 seeing for example I, I I grew up watching Indian cinema for example I grew up watching uh, Japanese films but I knew their cultures from their films so uh, this is how cinema affects and impacts not in a direct way but gradually you learn more and more about the others about the other societies and what's happening today in the world, I mean, with this bombing and terrorists and whatever, we say that cinema can, can take you out of all this because we have to fight this fear uh, by, by, by learning better so we can create uh, a, dialogue, a dialogue. So, so um, it was mentioned in the press conference that the, this year's Arab film entries for the Mohar Awards have the strongest caliber seen yet. So, what do you think has brought about this change as compared to the previous festivals? No, you know, the, especially the Arabic cinema, where we have only the competition for Arab cinema, it varies between one year to another. Uh, sometimes you have strong production, sometimes you don't, sometimes we seek for films, sometimes we, we have over films. But this year, we have like almost every film produced in the Arab world of uh, high quality we have we have it in the festival so we think that the the, the lineup is very strong the caliber is really high and uh, we are lucky this year that the, the the there were so many productions to pick from okay. and uh, lastly what was the, the decision that went behind picking this this year's lifetime achievement award winner 
Well, every year we, we go into this, we, we put names, we have a long list, and then we see who is really fitting uh, with our everything we are doing. For example, for uh, Nasir Din Shah, uh, we have a film which is a screening as a world premiere in the, in the, in the, uh, in the festival. Uh, he, we had his name for a long, uh, long time, but this year, as we have this film and as we, he's coming, so we thought this is a perfect match where we can honor him. So with every uh, name, we go through long discussions, why him, why not? Uh, with the Arab, for example, with the Arab uh, honorary, we have two. One of them is Sami Bojela. Sami is an international star, but very known in France and Tunisia, but is not known here. So we are saying, okay, let's introduce him to the Arab world, to the society, so they know better who's he that we are uh, giving him a lifetime achievement award. So in each name, we go through different aspects and at the end we make our choices so i recently read that one of your favorite films to watch is gandhi mm -hmm. and uh wha why do you like watching this film so much well i i like the person actually <laughs> i like the person more uh i think we have to learn from gandhi uh and this is his time this is his time this is what is happening is we need more gandhis in our 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 ourselves we need really to follow his uh, peaceful approach to, 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 to understand the other, to, to, to fight. So I think he's a very uh, good example that, that, that we need to uh, follow and, and respect. Thank you so much for your time, sir. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks. Thank you, sir.